welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer. I'm an expat living in Dubai with my French husband Laurent and my two daughters, Ayla, who is almost five, and Iris, who is two and a half. And before becoming a stay-at-home mum, I was an early years and primary school teacher and now I create content about motherhood, Montessori and homeschooling. So if that's content that interests you, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of the things that we have already purchased for the girls' Christmas. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So before we get started and I show you all the things that we already have, um, I just want to let you know that I have another video, an amazing video, it's the ultimate Montessori gift ideas collection and uh, I'll put it down in the description box so you can check out that video after this one and I also have another video for Christmas gift ideas that I did last year, so when the girls were a bit younger, um, I'll put that in the description box so you can check that out as well. So to start off, I've got some gifts that have arrived and some gifts that haven't arrived yet. So I'll just rattle off the ones that have not arrived yet and that I'll just put a picture on the screen for you. The first thing that we bought them was the another Jenna doll um, by Melissa and Doug. Uh, Iris already has one, but Isla is desperate to have one as well. So I have ordered that and that will be on its way to us. Uh, along with that, we also got the uh, mix and match doll collection by Melissa and Doug and, sorry, the dolls clothes collection. And um, so these are clothes, uh, a pack of clothes that you can split between the dollies and mix and match. Um, so they will fit the Jenna dolls perfectly. And this is something that the girls really, really enjoy. The next thing that we got um, were Snazaroo face paints. Uh, I love the Snazaroo brand. Um, I definitely highly recommend it if you like to do face paintings at home. Um, and we're going to use this all the time. The, the girls absolutely love getting their face painted and it will stop them using my makeup, which would be great. Um, so yeah, the Snazaroo face paints. And the next thing that we got were the Snug Play headphones. They also haven't arrived yet. Um, I got them a pair each. I got one pink and one purple. And uh, these will be for the girls' Yoto players. The girls have the Yoto audiobook players. And this will allow them to listen to different things at the same time without disturbing each other. And another thing that we've ordered that hasn't arrived yet is the National Geographic uh, Rock Collection. And surprisingly, this is quite cheap here in Dubai. It was very expensive when I actually found it in the UK. Um, but here it's quite inexpensive. And the girls absolutely love looking at different rocks and minerals and things. We already have like a small collection also by National Geographic. Um, but this one's like the mega collection. I think it's like 250 different rocks and minerals and fossils. Um, so I'm really excited. There have actually been mixed reviews on this, but because it's not so expensive, I'm not too worried like about, uh, there was some complaints I think in the reviews about the size of some of the rocks and fossils and things like that, or duplicates of things and things like that, just small minor problems. Um, so the reviews were a bit mixed, but I'm going to get it anyway because it's not very expensive and I know the girls will really enjoy that. The next uh, gift that we've ordered and it's still to arrive is the paddle toss game. Um, this is like Velcro bats that you put on your hand um, with a tennis ball and you can pass the ball back and easily catch it. So if your child sort of struggling to catch uh, balls with their hands, this is quite an easy way to play the game because they have a larger target with the Velcro bat. Um, so this is a lot of fun. We've actually ordered two sets because a, they're very cheap, and B, this will allow us to play as a family and actually toss the ball around uh, to one another rather than just the girls being able to play. Um, so it's a lot of fun and it will get us outside and exercising, which is great. Another few things that haven't arrived yet, um, every year for their stockings we always get sort of messy play stuff. Um, I've ordered the Zipply bath bombs. Um, are they bath bombs? Yes, the bath bombs, but also the bath drops. And these are little um, sort of tablet sized, sort of tablets <laughs> that you place in the bath and they can color the water. These are really great um, if you don't want to mess around with food colors and get all messy. Um, you can actually give these to your child and then they can just plop it in the bath to turn it red or blue or green or whatever. 
Um, so it's a lot of fun. The bath bombs as well by Zipli are great. I think you get like a mega pack of like 20, I think, and they're quite big. They're quite sizable. Um, so I think it's really good value for money. We're also getting the Zipli jelly bath. Um, packs. I just get these from the supermarket. They sell them in quite a few places in Dubai now. Um, but on Amazon they're quite cheap as well. And you get different varieties now. Ones that smell, ones that are sparkly. Um, so um, there's a wide variety now. So I've ordered those. Along with water beads or Orbeez if you're in the US, we've also ordered those. So they will go in the girls' stockings. These are our stocking fillers. And um, it's really great because um, it just means that for a long time I don't have to stock up on sensory play stuff. Um, these are things that get used all the time in our house. So uh, these are really great gift ideas. So the first thing that we got for the girls Christmas was the Chronicles of Narnia collection. Now we've uh, already uh, started reading all of these um, but it was from the library and I thought they are such amazing books that I would love to have the collection at home. Uh, we absolutely love chapter books in this house. We spend a lot of time uh, doing read-alouds. Um, so this, I'm really, really excited to uh, start reading to the girls. The next thing that we got for the girls were these fairy garden uh, boxes. So um, here you can see a little fairy. Um, so what you get with it, you get like a sort of dish and you can grow um, grass or herbs or whatever it is that you want and then you get like a little fairy, a little fairy house, a little dormouse and it's just so so cute. Um, so here it says you get a garden bowl, fairy figurine, dormouse, shell, a fairy house, clothes line with a post and pegs, blanket, uh, grass seeds, gravel, um, and things to decorate. So um, I'm really excited. Isla is going to absolutely adore this. She loves fairies and in fact that's the theme of her birthday this year um, when she turns five in October. And uh, so some of these things actually might end up being gifted for her birthday but I just thought I'd show you everything anyway. Um, so here's another one from the same collection. This one um, is the unicorn and it's got like a little feeding trough with a bird and a little fairy there as well and again the same idea the sort of trough you can grow herbs or grass or whatever you want and um, so it's really cute uh, and then you get these like individual little uh, fairies these are little fairy babies this one's like sleeping I don't know if you can see that um, so it's a little sleeping baby fairy inside a flower um, which is really really cute. So I got one each. These were probably be stocking fillers because they're nice and small. Um, so I got um, two of those. And then this one is the Bell's Tree House. Oh, it's got two little bunnies in it um, and a little butterfly. So these are really really cute. I don't actually tend to go for like plastic toys um, but she absolutely loves fairies and what I love about these is because they're plastic they can play with them in the garden um, a lot of our toys are wooden and I don't allow them to be played in, with in the garden because they get wet and dirty and things and um, so yeah so the fairy collection they're gonna absolutely love that uh, the next thing that we got uh, the girls was a new microscope now I already have uh, a microscope uh, to be honest but um, I got it when I bought uh, a very long time ago when um, I bought all the resources from this lady second hand who was selling her whole homeschool essentially and um, her whole classroom and um, so I got a, mic a microscope but I didn't get any slides or anything like that and I thought it'd be good for the girls to have each their own microscope because it's something that we're, we're going to use quite frequently and um, so this is the whole collection again I got this second hand somebody was just selling this on Facebook marketplace so it comes with all the tools and things and um, the kit for actually making your own um, slides as well the glass for making the slides and then it comes with this amazing collection um, of slides from really weird and wonderful things and um, so just for example um, there's a pine leaf um, a lilium ovary um, what's this? 
different stem cells. Um, this one's cool. This one's a honeybee worker leg. <laughs> um, so like really random cool things to look at. And um, so I'm really, really excited to give this to the girls because although we've got the microscope, like we don't have the things to look look at underneath the microscope. Um, so this is gonna be amazing addition to our homeschool classroom as well. And um, the next thing I got was from Etsy, but when I was back home in the UK, and again, I'm not sure if this might be part of Isla's birthday present or not. Um, I haven't unwrapped it. It's actually something that you have to put together. Um, I'll put a photograph here. It's like a little fairy tree house. Um, really, really cute. Um, I've always wanted something like this, but there's really nowhere in Dubai you can buy something like this. Um, so I'm really, really excited to gift this along with the fairy things. And my mum back home, she really kindly gifted me some fairy garden ornaments that she had. Um, so all together, it's going to be an amazing sort of like fairy garden we can create. So the next thing that we got the girls were a little French knitting set. I actually got these from my mum uh, in Scotland. It's, so it's a little uh, classical wooden toy. Um, with the wool and you can, uh, it's like a sort of beginner's kit for French knitting. Um, so these are really great for putting inside the kids' stockings and they're absolutely going to love these. The next thing, and the girls have been wanting this for ages, and it's a plastic tea set. Um, back home uh, in Scotland, um, we go to my auntie's house and she always has a plastic tea set with water for the girls to play with and they adore it. They, they love being able to actually pour with the, with the tea set. Um, I did have a little tin set that I got them for uh, last Christmas, but you can't put water in it without sort of rusting the metal. Um, so I was really disappointed with that tea set that I got last year for Christmas. So don't get that if you want them to actually use it. Um, so I got them a plastic one. This one's by Melissa and Doug. It's the butterfly tea set and they're going to love this. Um, another thing that I always get at Christmas just because the girls adore it and that's the art scratch paper. It says black scratch paper um, and it comes with little wooden uh, pencils and you just sort of scratch away the black and then you have the colours underneath and they love this. They use it all the time um, in their arts and crafts station so um, they're going to really appreciate that. The next thing that I got for the girls is the Peter Rabbit collection. Now, they absolutely love the Peter Rabbit stories. If you watch my Yoto video, um, I mentioned that they have the stories on the Yoto cards for their audiobook player. And But I thought it'd be so nice just to have the individual stories so we can actually read them. Or Isla can look at the book while she listens to the story on the Yoto. Um, so this is the complete collection. and. We absolutely love it, so the girls are going to be really excited to have those. The next gift that we got the girls was James Harriet's Treasury for Children and we absolutely love these stories. We had this book from the library and I thought it would be great just to have it in the house. Um, and it's uh, based on sort of farm stories from the countryside in England and uh, I love it because the stories are sort of based in reality and real things that happen. There are a couple of stories that include death. Um, and maybe if you've got sensitive children, you might not want uh, stories like that, but um, we are fine uh, reading stories like that. So um, I'm really excited to have that in the house. The next thing that we got for the girls is this Plan Toys Surgeon set. I have the dentist set, which is very well loved. And I just thought this would be so much fun to add to their sort of um, play set and their doctor set. It's one of the sets that gets used most often in our house. Um, they love playing doctors or vets, mainly vets actually. Um, so this is going to be a lot of fun. So you get like a sort of bib and it's got detachable um, organs on it. I think they're made of felt. Um, it comes with a book with um, sort of details about each of the organs and then the surgeon's tools as well. So um, I'm sure they're going to love that. It's going to be a lot of fun. The next gift that we got the girls was a Hama bead set. 
Um, if you don't know what these are, these are like little beads and uh, they've got tiny little holes in them and the idea is that you place them on a sort of frame. I'll show you. Um, so I just got the simple frames from Ikea but if they enjoy them then I'll get uh, you get more fancy ones. Um, so these are the frames. So for example the heart and it's got little um, sort of nodules on it and you have to place the beads very carefully on each of the nodules and then when you've completed it um, you put some grease proof paper on top of it and with an iron you just iron over the top of it and the beads melt together and then you can take it off and you have like this sort of plastic thing. Uh, you can use it to make badges or jewellery or um, just to have. So it's so much fun. I used to do this all the time when I was a school teacher but I think I I must have donated my kit to another teacher um, when I left my job. So I've got a whole new set now for the girls and uh, Isla is going to love it. Now this can be really frustrating for children if they knock um, the shape and all the beads spatter, like it can be really, but it's, I think it's really, really good for children to sort of um, work on their patience and to work on um, just taking the time over something that's a little bit fiddly and accepting that sometimes they have to start again, you know, when there's an accident. So uh, if you have a child who sort of struggles with, you know, things going wrong and um, this might not be the gift for them but I highly recommend it for teaching patience and perseverance because um, it does take a bit of time and uh, then and uh, the next gift that we got the girls because we absolutely adore books in this house I got the girls the wishing chair collection now the girls already have the Yoto cards for this and we have already read the stories but we got them from the library um, so we absolutely love Enid Blyton I think she might be our favourite author um, so far in this house um, so Isla's going to really appreciate having these stories that she can um, look at and listen to on the Yoto as well and we can do read alouds as well. Uh, another gift that I got the girls uh, was a skipping rope. Um, this one um, is a silicone one uh, as you can see like that. Um, so usually I prefer sort of actually natural rope uh, skipping ropes that's what I used to learn when I was little um, but I saw this one and I just thought oh Isla's really wanting to start uh, learning how to skip properly so um, I just got this for her just now and hopefully um, hopefully she enjoys it so, so the next uh, gifts that we got the girls um, were some wings uh, we got these fabric wings and there's a lovely company here called uh, Pity Lam uh, in in Dubai and the lovely lady there she makes these um, beautiful fabric wings for the girls to wear and they're such good quality now I, I used to get um, Isla the wings from Claire's Accessories never again every single time we get them the wire bends the fabric tears um, or the straps they they start to sort of fray and come away so I'm never getting Claire's accessory wings again these are such good quality and will last such a long time I got this one and and I got this one which is like the unicorn print um, so pretty, so beautiful. If I had a sewing machine, I'd have a go at doing this myself. Um, hopefully, that's what I'll be getting for my Christmas this year. <laughs> um, so the girls are gonna absolutely love these wings. The next gift that I got the girls were these Dinkum dolls. Now, this is actually how they've come packaged and I've had these hiding in the cupboard since like February or something um, when I got them. Now, if you don't know what a Dinkum doll is, I'll put a picture on the screen. These are the two that we got for the girls. Um, 
I think I was browsing and Isla came and she looked over my shoulder when I was on the computer and she ch actually chose the one that she wanted. So I just got one slightly different for Iris. I don't like to get them com something completely different just to avoid um, any upset about which one is theirs. Um, so I got uh, two Dinkum dolls and along with the dolls, I... I also got the Dinkum doll baby carrier as well and, and I got each of the girls an outfit for their dolly um, so they can play dressing up as well with the Dinkum dolls. So that's it, I hope this video was helpful to you. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any other great gift ideas for Christmas. Otherwise subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.